Okay, this is a Son Dong A360 Adventure, Episode 2 by Dell. Apparently it's sponsored by Dell. But what what's going on here is they're going into this huge, huge, I think it's the world's largest cave. And it's in Vietnam, Song Dong. Now, I believe right now they are going into a heart. So, let's go forward and we're going to do like a, you know, a, biological place at a time. So let's follow this through. Here they go. Then you on to set up for the first 360 shoot. But this is a point where I realized. Now I believe this is a heart and watch these patterns of black and white stripes. They, they're they very brief. They're just going through these quickly. So watch quickly. <laughs> the, the immense size of this place. Uh, you see this? You see this type of pattern? There'll be more of it. It comes. It, that, that is what your see, uh, see this. I'm going to show you another one. It's the same thing. This is what happens in the, and I, I think it's got something to do with um, massive separate see see separating walls. off the ventricle walls or something like, like that. Now I believe the heart has split open here. Like they do that, and I will show you one that has done that. And I believe like that's huge maybe even like a chunk of blood that's, that fell uh, out. I started to doubt. You see this in the middle? We're, see that right there? Let me go back to that one because that that one there will show there'll be some blood chemistry colors in here as you can see a little bit but there's going to be a pocket right up here i'll try to stop I it these huge caverns we were walking through that's uh, i started to doubt if we were all right watch over here that's some kind of um i don't know some kind of blood vessel <laughs> but that that is it's some kind of a, a blood entry it's or it's possible to actually do this but there's we're that striping again all right, that's the the heart that they're showing there. All right, this is a heart too. Obviously, it's a small heart, but what, how you can tell the hearts? They'll have one of these big wide strips of that white, uh, with the little black impregnated things in it, stripey looking stuff, and then they'll have a, a, a narrow one set off. You see it? See that little narrow one? That's set off at a 90 degrees off of the the main one. And they will crack right off there and open up. And that's the nature of the heart. And that, I believe, is that little hole that we saw, or something along that line. All right, so let's go back and look at the heart, uh, look at some other hearts. Okay, this was one that was sent to me, uh, and I'm not certain where it is, but I think it's down in South America somewhere. And that is that stripy little thing that I showed in the heart in Vietnam, and um, that big but you see this red stripe you see it run across here you see this brown looking stuff here that is and over here the, the these are all transition molecule colors this is expended blood this is the red blood this is transitional blood that's between red and the black and it's being pumped through the heart through the chambers of the heart and this is the chambers of the heart and when you go into opals they become spectacular where do you see this all right, this is an opalized heart, and I go through all the process of it. It's all transition metal bonding, and it happens in uh, blood-dense solutions, and there's certain chemistry that causes um, opals. Now, let me show you something else. And you can see all the transition metals are accumulated where they are needed for that exact specific type of tissue that does that specific job. That's why they're so important. I'm not going to go off on it again. Right here you go, right here. There's a heart. That is a spectacular. Look, this is all the actual tissues of the heart, and they have fossilized. And you see the blue? This is the blue of blue blood, and that's the red of red blood. And this is cardiac muscle tissues that do this. And this is where the blood enters and exits you get the red and the the red and the black where it's a the vein and the arteries blood come in uh it's and i I'm, i can't see down here but i'm sure the colors are of 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 vein blood it looks like to me anyway it, it's spectacular now let me show you what happens to how they crack in half like i said the gigantic one did over in vietnam hold on all right this is a, a heart 
that my good friend Phil Harris found. I believe he's down in Mississippi. He found at the edge of a creek area, and he found some other spectacular finds. And he just came up, picked it up, cracked it, and boom, it popped right open. And there's the blood. It's still in there. Literally, you could get a transfusion from the thing almost. Now look at this. So here it is. He cracks it open. Now you can see, you see here, this is the blood that is, um, is deoxygenated. And that is the oxygenated blood. And, and this is probably where the entry goes. And it cracks right on those planes that I talked about, those colored lines. Now, here's what happened after an hour. There it is. You see what happens? Look, there's, that, that is the where the blood comes in and separates the heart. I don't know. You go to show some doctor, you know what it is. But that's the red blood side. That's the deoxygenated side or, or whatever one of these other ones is. Because you got black and red. The black is the, the blood in mud fossils because it becomes super oxygenated basically. It's not blue anymore. It's black. The, the, the red blood still stays red or it gets rusty looking color and that's sort of this kind of stuff. Now, that's what happens to hearts. They crack right up, and then they turn like this right away. Wait, you want to see what happens to lungs? Wait, you see this? Because I'm going to go into lungs in a minute. But let me show, show you what happens to lungs. Gary Evans over in um, England in the mud flat found something. I'll show you. All right, Gary goes on. He finds this, and he wonders what it is. It's got this funny looking stuff. He brings it back, and he cracks it open. So here's what happens when he brings it back. Uh, where is it? Here's, it cracks it open, and here's what's inside. It's a lung. It's completely intact lung. There's all the lung, the the where the lung blood runs in through the lungs. This is where it's black, which means it's the deoxygenated. Here's where it's red. It's going to transfer oxygen. That's how the lung works. And he comes up with this. I said, "Oh man, I can't believe it." Now he found this in a. Uh, um, a mud flat. So then a couple of days or a week later, whatever, I put down of two weeks or something, long after exposed, I think it was exposed for a week or so, it turns into this. And that is what happens. That's This will end up turning into mud. All right, that's what mud is. It's the red blood part. The black blood, I don't know what happened to that. I think it probably broke off or whatever. But the black blood part usually stays more intact and turns hard. The red blood gets particulated and uh, turns into mud and rust and, you know, um, particles. Okay, same video, Song Dong. Now we're into lungs. And I've always said it's the transition metals that are in the lungs. And I have transition metals here that I can show you in a minute that are in lungs that are these different colors and they do something and I don't know how but you see the blue and the green and the um, different colors in the water and a different color over here and they're leaching out of the walls that somehow does something in the lungs based on these transition metals and they I, I don't understand it yet and I, I'm sure doctors don't they think it's just all blood passes through there and the gas is exchanged well there's something more going on because these are specific colors and they separate and aggregate in different areas and the blood runs through you see this that black is like I showed you in that black of the lung that I showed you Gary Evans found this is the other part this is the chunky stuff that somehow transfer things. You see these colors? There's the colors of in the lungs. I have the same lungs here and I'm going to show you in the microscopic shots. All right, you see what you see right here. It's uh, the black and then the um, chunks of whatever the um, other part of the lung is and then the colors of the transition metals. Now, right up here you see one of my specimens that is um, is um, along and it's um you see the black there it's the same as the sort of the black stuff you see these little chunky blocks that's the same as the other little chunky blocks on the other one there's transition metals in here you can't see it the colors like the blues and the greens but i have uh, ones that do have the exact same thing it's a lung trust me it's a lung 
actually let me roll through a few of these so that you can see um, like that is all uh, that is uh, I believe off of uh, something with a lot of fascia on it. this uh, that's just one of the strange ones that's uh, where blood's coming out that's the type of stuff you're gonna see on that's a skin tissue really These are all different microscopic shots. It's a blood vessel. There's um, the arterial side and the vein. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The ar arterial side here. They blow out because there's no restrictions and they squirt out when there's a lot of um, pressure on a, 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 the creature. And the black, that is the vein blood. And that is a more of a hard substance and it plugs up and it is, has restrictions, it has vein valves they call them. So they don't evacuate the blood like the um, arterial side does. And a lot of times, you'll find a lot of them, there'll be red blood left in them too. I mean, I have them here that are just literally full of red blood, but that is not always the case. They often blow out, like this. I don't know if you can see this in there. That's, uh, that's, that's the kind of red blood you can see in some of them. And the other side there is the, the vein, that's the artery. And that's gold coming out of it. This is a toe. And that's the bottom where the blood leaked out in the front here. And that would be, uh, this right here is the guy's callus. Anyway, that's what happens on these, uh, blood fossils and that's why the transition metals do what they do and where the blood um, this is what you want to look for is this kind of evidence to prove your blood your your uh, mud fossils because I see oh it looks like this it looks like that well that's fine but you have to show me in the broken places that's the places I want to see where is the blood where's the black and where's the red or the black and the clear that you're going to have to show me in order to, to and it's got to be anatomically in the correct place. And then you can make a claim. But everybody's coming up with all these claims and seeing things. And so one guy's going to a theme park and finding things and just claiming them. It's, uh, it's kind of silly, really. And it's, um, it's distressing after all the work I did, the things that are happening. So I'm sort of isolating myself. I actually had to block some people to keep away from because they're confusing my work with theirs. Well, they're, they're not doing any work. They're just repeating what I say. And that makes me uh, look like I'm involved with them. or so, I don't know. I just have to isolate myself. Let me put that way. Right, there's another shot. Look at this. This is they're still inside the lung. You see this green leaking out of there. This blue, and and these stripes in here, and this um, yellow looking, and this color uh, turquoise, and this color green, and this color yellow. And uh, I mean, this is transition metal business. This is a lung. It's a lung tissue. Something collapsed. It's drained a lot of this stuff out. They said wind howls through this thing. I'm sure waters flowed through there. And I'm sure this was here during the great flood and maybe sucked in all the things from above and for, forced this through here because it said the earth opened up and swallowed up all the water. So, I mean, there's a pretty good swallower looking right thing right there because it's, a, as far as I know, it's, it's, it's a, either the biggest or one of the biggest on earth. This is the kind of stuff I find in lungs. These are the different colors, the different blood flows amongst it. These are the chunks of things that we're seeing in the rocks in that big deep cave there. And this is the kind of stuff you see. This is the transition metals working their way into lungs. I know some of this isn't lungs, but a lot of it is, all right, that's going into a lung tissue somewhere. All right, so anyway, that's that's what it is. All right, this, I'm going to leave it at this here. This is Rainbow River, and it's it says, This Rainbow River in Columbia has been labeled the most beautiful river in the world. And I concur. And this is by Business Insider UK. Now, you see all these different colors. 
It's all those different analogy. Well, that's that's okay. I can go along with that. But it's eating different m different transition metal rocks. Th those are the rocks that I showed you. The same different little colors are the things that I was showing you in my stuff. And you see this thing? Look at this. There and and this is from looking from above, obviously. And you can see down. This is part of a lung. These are the different holes that are in the lung. And, uh, you know, I have the lungs here. I have the same sort of stuff. Hold on, I'll show you right here. But see this? This is That, that is eating blood. There's the red blood is down in there. Then there's green ones. There's blue ones. There's all the different colors. Now look, you see this? And this is all the different stuff of... Uh, I have the same things here. You see that? This would be, if this was gigantic and it was laying down there somewhere like this and water was running over. But it's kind of all, you know, this, this one here is all leached out. But a lot of them still have all of the different, um, the blood stuff in them. You know, like, uh, you have to get inside of them. But I have some that actually had leaked blood all over the place. All right, these are lungs that I have here in my shop, and this one here was um, DNA tested and CAT scan and all. This is the pattern of the lung. That's the tongue at the bottom, and this is all the fabric of the pleura of the lung. And this one over here was um, was not DNA tested, but it literally leaked blood all over the place out of all these little pores. And this is the the um, separation between the oxygenated and the not oxygenated blood and um, and this is what actually came out of there it was literally got globs of blood were leaking out of those holes and, and that's just, <laughs> that's just like, you know when they're in the mud conditions and they're preserved in the right way they just they, they don't deteriorate anyway that's the end of the story for today my friends uh, so uh, just stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe. Ring the little bell. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye, con Dios, amigos.